Hi friends, we're in Galveston, Texas, getting ready to leave on our cruise tomorrow. And one of the things that people are always asking about is, what's the best way to pack for a cruise? What do I take? What don't I take? And you know, how do you put it all together? How do you fit it in? Well, we're gonna show you live. We're actually gonna show you packing our suitcases and what we take and what we don't. And you won't forget a thing. Welcome to Living Phase Two. Okay, friends, so there's three things that you need to consider when you're going on a cruise and you're, you're planning your packing here. The first is your, your destination. For instance, we're going to the Caribbean, so it's nice and warm where we're at. But if you're going on an Alaskan cruise or a transatlantic cruise, what you're going to need is going it will be a little warmer clothes than what we're planning on. The second is the length of your cruise. And the third is your lifestyle, if you are a casual person or if you like to dress up a little more. But the one thing to really keep in mind is regardless of all of that, plan on two outfit changes every single day. Um, you've got your morning wear up till about four o'clock in the afternoon. And even if you're formal or casual, you're still going to have your evening wear from dinner uh, to your show and into the evening. Right. I like to think of a cruise day, not from the time you get up at 6 a.m. to the time you go to bed. I like to think of a cruise day as from, let's call it 4 o'clock in the afternoon, all the way through to four o'clock the next day because you end up having like nancy said kind of two days you know as part of each of those your first part of that day the reason being is for us and again this is our lifestyle so we're going to tell you a little bit you're going to see it on the vlogs coming up in the next few days on grandeur of the seas that we're going on our lifestyle is we get up in the morning we have a cup of coffee and we hit, it, let's say it's a sea day, we hit the solarium or the adult pool area, we relax, Swim have a drink, swimsuits, and that's, and that's, that's what we wear. That's outfit one. Right. Yeah, swimsuits, a cover-up, a right. t-shirt, things that we can go get a cup of coffee uh, it, and wear while we're getting a cup of coffee. And even um, with a swimsuit cover-up, we can wear that to lunch to a casual place. Right. So that's our first part of the day. Or if it's not a sea day, if it's an excursion day, we wear our adventure clothes or so if we're going sure. and having a beach day somewhere we might we'll wear a swimsuit and say kind of the same thing or if we're going on an excursion where we're doing a lot of walking and thing you know so it's a pair of shorts and a shirt uh, so that's the first part of the day then when we get back to the room that's normally we'll take a shower get cleaned up and that's when we transition to that evening now you hear evening where you might think a tuxedo or something <laughs> um, this is where like Nancy said you have to really consider your lifestyle we're going to talk about Royal Caribbean and their recommendations, and we're going to talk about what we wear. We actually pretty well align with their recommendations, and it's what we like to do. That doesn't mean it's anybody else doing anything different wrong. Mm -hmm. It just means what we like to do. So in the evenings, Royal Caribbean, going to any of the main restaurants or main dining room, they recommend slacks and a collared shirt. Does everybody do that? No. You see that question a lot. Do I really have to wear slacks? No. You see people, I mean... You see people in flip-flops and t-shirts and whatever, um, and they don't turn them away. It's not like maybe Celebrity or some of the other cruise lines, especially if you're getting up into Canard or something. They're going to have very strict dress codes. Right. So they have recommendations. We follow those. So we, I bring a pair of travel slacks and a Hawaiian collared shirt for most of the days. And then what do you wear I'll for wear those days? a skirt or a sundress on their casual or semi-formal days. And then on their formal days, I do wear a long dress. Mm -hmm. And so that said, because these clothes are a little more formal, you're, we're only wearing them really for a few hours. And it's at a point in the day when we're not getting hot and sweaty. Um, we were just going to dinner, going to the show, walking around uh, the ship a little bit. Um, and so those clothes, we do plan to rewear a couple of times while mm -hmm. we're on the ship. Well, yeah, and especially for a seven-day cruise, you'll have two formal nights. For mm -hmm. a five-day cruise, we're only having one formal night. So for me on my formal night, I do bring a suit and tie and dress mm -hmm. up. You know, uh, I was in the corporate world for 30 years, and I had to do that a lot. Um, and I never do that now with the business that we own. So, you know, for us, dressing up for dinner it has a bit of a mystique to it. It kind of adds to the uh, fantasy that we're playing out and we like to do that. Yes, 
it's kind of a pain in the butt to carry a suit, a shirt, a tie. Um, but you know what? We bring we're a handbag. We're glad we have it. But we're glad we have it. Yeah. It's a little bit extra. It's one more bag because we bring a folding bag. You'll see in a minute. But that's what we do. That's the lifestyle that we uh, mm -hmm. that we like to have. So let's show you how we pack. So we like to compartmentalize our clothing. It makes things so much easier for packing, unpacking, and staying organized. You know, you put your socks all in one of these packing cubes. Mike has the blue, I have the pink. We put our shoes in a bag, we keep our sunscreen in a, in a Ziploc baggie, just so it doesn't um, <laughs> accidentally get on things. We've got some of our items from our unusual cruise video, uh, cruise essentials video. We'll put a link to that, so be sure to watch that. That's been one of our most popular videos. And things like the magnets that we take to help with hanging things um, are in here as well. All of these items, plus more, fit into our Oscar the Crouch suitcase. It's our, it's our beat up, dirty old green suitcase that we, we nickname Oscar just because it's, uh, it's, it's kind of old faithful <laughs> that, that comes with us on all of our trips. Come follow along in here. By the way, if you're wondering where we're staying, we are at the Quality Inn. Uh, in Galveston uh, Seaside. We've got a great rate. We're in the shoulder season right now and we get free parking uh, for while we're at the cruise. So that's something to consider. Over here we've got a roller bag that has our hats. Um, I put my CPAP in there. I've got a backpack just for a carry-on for that first day on the cruise. I've got my swimsuit already tucked in there. I've got um, flip-flops and a swimsuit cover-up so when we get on board the cruise I can change and uh, head poolside right away. We've also brought along, this is our camera gear here, but then we have a carrying, a hanging bag that holds our shirts, um, Mike's, it's got all Mike's shirts and his suit there as well. I've got my long dress for formal night. So these are the things that we need to, that we pack to bring along. And I'm going to show you how I put together um, one of my outfits. Before I show you how I pull my outfits together, I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. We truly appreciate you, friends. So with my outfits, I pull not just the outfit out, I pull everything out that's going to go together with this specific outfit, then I'm certain not to forget a single thing. So does the outfit need a belt? What shoes am I going to wear? A jewelry, hair accessories, do I need a hat? Things like that. Those are the things that I pull all together. I try to make, if you're familiar with a capsule wardrobe where things will mix and match, I try to, to choose clothes that have um, a similar color theme. Like on this cruise, most everything I've brought is blue. And that way then I can mix and match different items that shoes will go with, um, they will go with the different outfits. So when I can minimize things, it just makes it all the easier. So mixing and matching is, is a good way to do that. So to the guys now, <laughs> I don't lay all my outfits out <laughs> like Nancy does. I, I get why they do. I mean, uh, there's a there's a comedy song, Man, I'm Glad I'm a Man. We don't have to go up and put up with all that. Even I've got my suit back there we showed you, and that's probably the biggest thing. I have to make sure that I bring a dress shirt and a tie to go with it. Uh, but what do we bring? Uh, specifics. A lot of people say, tell me specifics. I bring two swimsuits because I don't always want, want to put a wet one on in the morning, so I can switch back and forth between that five-day cruise. And by the way, on our website, we're going to put a PDF file up there, a packing list for a five and a seven night cruise. So then you can kind of take a look at those two things. So go to livingphase2.com and you'll see that there. It, by the time, if you're an early watcher of this video, it may not be up there yet. Uh, we're still working on it, but it will be there uh, shortly. So livingphase2.com. I bring uh, two pairs of shorts for a five-day cruise, three, day, three pairs to four for a seven-day cruise because I can rewear them. Like I mentioned, most of the time 
Uh, I'm not getting them sweaty, dirty, etc. But I want enough of them that I can change if I need to. Uh, if I know I've got a lot of excursions that I'm going to be wearing shorts, then I'll bring shorts I can be active in, and then I adjust that number a little bit compared to that. Because if you're running around Mexico all day, your shorts are going to get pretty dirty. So you want to really think about excursions and your lifestyle, like Nancy said. Um, I love these. Um, I love these athletic T-shirts. Uh, they're cool to wear, uh, easy to pack. They roll up really nice and tight and small. I get a uh, like a six pack off Amazon for a little of nothing, and I pack those. That's my daily wear. That's what I'll wear if we're going excursions or by the pool. Um, as far as things like socks, I mean, I wear one dress pair of socks. That's all I bring for a formal night. And most of the time I'm wearing something like Keens or flip flops, but I'll, um, I will probably bring a pair of athletic shoes because we know we're gonna try <laughs> our best to go to the gym and work out a little bit on this cruise. So that does add a little bit of extra packing. So I'm bringing that as well. And really that's, uh, and then as far as shirts, I mentioned these shirts, then for the evening, I'm bringing, as I said, um, about two, um, uh, Hawaiian style collared shirts and one dress shirt for a five night cruise. And, and that's it. That's really the extent of what I'm bringing. Um, I'm going to leave underwear up to you. We mentioned about, you know, how many, if you're on a five night cruise, think about, you know, you may just be wearing a swimsuit in the morning and then, you know, your underwear in the afternoon or in a, uh, you know, when you, get, um, when you go on an excursion, but we'll let you kind of decide what your lifestyle is and how you like to do that. Um, the last thing I'd say is shoes. Um, you want to bring a good, comfortable, non-slip pair of flip-flops or slip-on shoes for the pool. Uh, you want to bring something that you can wear in your excursions that's got a you know a good, sturdy, good for walking. And really, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to formal night, um, you might want a formal pair of shoes. And honestly, what I wear in the evenings is a pair of deck shoes. So, you know, those are the shoes that that I bring and that I wear. Um, other than that, as Nancy mentioned, um, you know, we've got several of the things here that we talked about in our unusual cruise essentials video, like our tumblers, the magnets. Um, we've got our game bag, and then I'd say the last thing, of course, don't forget your toiletry bag. The last thing I would say is I bring a mesh, extremely lightweight backpack uh, that I can take on excursions and or take to the pool with me. And in here we have a um, super lightweight towel. We've got things like that that, you know, I can throw this on our back. And if we go on an excursion, then I can take this with me. But that's really the extent of what I pack uh, to take on our cruise. So we really would like to ask you to comment, to tell us in the comments, what do you take? What did we forget? What is some really important thing? How did we overpack? Let's uh, share this information. What did we do? Say, no, 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 I get by with a pair of Bermuda shorts and a t-shirt, you know, or a tank top, and that's all I wear the whole cruise. Let us know, because we'd love to hear that, and those comments then feed back to the community and let people know, and is really, really helpful. So Mike just showed you the things that he packs along for a five-night cruise. I'm going to show you, ladies, what I pack. There's just the one formal night, so I've got my one long dress that I'm going to take along. I've got a couple of sundresses, four tank tops, and four pair of shorts. I don't like to rewear those quite as often. I've got two swimsuits, a swimsuit cover-up, and one more thing, and I think this is really important. I do have a sweater because you can get chilly in the dining room and at some of those shows. So that's something to consider bringing along as well. You could be under that air conditioning and getting a little bit of a draft. So friends, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to uh, stay tuned because our next video will be boarding day one, the process and the things that we do the first day on the cruise. So have a wonderful living face today and we will see you very soon. Have a great day.